Hello everyone, welcome to the Ecamm channel. This is Xu Hang. Today I have made a tutorial video that show you how to set up to test to obtain the column B efficiency of metal deposition and stripping. Unlike in a soup capacitor where we always obtain the column B efficiency from the CV or GCD curve, the column B efficiency of metal stripping and deposition is obtained from the voltage profiles. In previous tutorials, we have mentioned how to calculate the column B efficiency for supercapacitors. More generally, the column B efficiency describes the efficiency with which the charge is transferred in a system facilitating an electrochemical reaction. During the metal deposition and stripping process, heat generation and side reactions can all lower the column B efficiency. Hence, the columbia efficiency is an important parameter reflecting the performance of a metal anode. The higher the columbia efficiency is, the less capacity the battery losses in each charge discharge cycle and the longer its potential lifespan. The columbia efficiency equal to the charge released during the discharge cycle over the charge obtained during the charge cycle. So Columbia efficiency can be calculated from various methods, including CV and GCD, as far as you can obtain the charge. For evaluating the reversibility of a metal anode, the Columbia efficiency is usually calculated from the voltage profile. And the Columbia efficiency is equal to the capacity of the stripping process over the capacity of the deposition process. Now I will show you how to set up the test to obtain the voltage profile. Before you start setting, several information are needed. The current density, the surface area of the electrode, cutoff time for the deposition, and cutoff voltage for stripping. In this example test, I want to set the charge and discharge current density to be 1 mA per square centimeter. Then if my cutoff time of deposition is one hour, the targeted discharge capacity is one milliampere hour per square centimeter. If the electrode that I use is with 13 millimeter in diameter, then the capacity of the deposition process is 1.3265 milliampere hour. For the stripping process, I set the cutoff voltage of 0.5. So in this screenshot, I set the discharge and charge current, the cutoff time of the deposition and the cutoff voltage of the stripping process. I also add the step of the rest and also the cycle step. The software that I show here is from Lena, but for the other brands, the setting should be almost the same. So what we will obtain from the test is a voltage profile of different cycles. From the curve, we can obtain the deposition branch and the stripping branch. The deposition capacity and cutoff voltage are the parameters that we set before the test. The column efficiency can be directly observed from the voltage profile. If the stripping process has much lower capacity, it means that the column efficiency is low. By changing the current density of discharge and charge, we can also obtain a series of Columbia efficiency at different current densities. When the current density is plotted with cycle numbers, we further obtain the Columbia efficiencies at different cycle numbers. We maintain this channel only on weekends. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. The video in our ECAM channel are only for educational purposes and knowledge sharing. Please subscribe, share, and like our videos to support our channel. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.